Collecting antiques is a fascinating business, as Mr. Jobson of South London will tell you. Here's a four-hour time glass, and it's not for boiling ostrich eggs. But what about this 18th century mouse trap, known as dead fall? Cut from one solid piece of wood, you bait it, set it, and then wait for a nice old-fashioned mouse. He comes along, takes an ancient piece of cheese, and that's it. And what for Pete's sake is this? It's technically known as an 18th century Sussex bed wagon, used for warming or airing beds. It can also be used for setting houses on fire. A charcoal burner goes inside, the frame acts as a kind of cradle for the bedclothes. Next exhibit, a device for docking horses' tails or cutting thistles, which sounds just as specialised as the thing for getting stones out of horses' hooves. But Mr Jobson has all kinds of curios lying about. Should you feel like taking to the open road, this is just the job. It's got that used, professional look about it. This is the puzzle jug. The inscription invites you all to try your skill. I'll make a wager, if you will, that you don't drink this liquor all without you spill or let some fall. Mr. Jobson knows how. This looks like a very small fiddle, as the spiv said. But it's not what it appears to be. The answer is a pair of scales. And now for a pair of old-fashioned patterns, as they were called, which kept feet off wet floors. And a pair of old-fashioned skates, made from special bone. Just a small sample of Mr. Jobson's amazing collection, which includes old toys, witches' bottles and medieval treasures. It's fun to Mr. Jobson and some, and has a fascination all its own.